Creations. Today I have another craft update. So let's just get on with the video. So I kind of have a lot of crafts. I kept two crafts out for the next craft update because I'm not planning on making a wallets, a bunch of wallets this week. So let's just get on with the little stuff. So I have this little, little mini wallet and it's super cute. And if it would just focus, that would make my life much easier. Oh, duct tape fall. It's falling all over the place. Okay. Anyways. And it's the cat paw print, and only the outside seems clear taped. And it has like a mini velcro to see through. And it has two cording sections and a pouch because I think it's pointless to put Ziploc in there if you're just going to have it on your keychain. And I could not find a hole puncher. So once I find a hole puncher, then I could put keychains onto these. <clears throat> so the next, I have this little one, and it's peeling up right here, and it's making me very angry. But I was going to line it up. As you can see, I was starting it, and then I realized it would take seven or eight strips, so I just stopped on the fourth strip. And again, the mini Velcro, and it has one accordion sections and a pouch and a pocket behind it. And I did have a wallet similar to this, except it had pockets right here and a pouch behind it, and then it just had a pouch. It didn't have a coin pouch, if that makes sense. I made it about a month ago, and a lot of people are making them now. And it was my idea first. I made it around February of last year. So I had like a pouch right here, just kind of like this, and there was card pockets. And then on this side, I just had a pouch, and then there was an ID on back. So I decided just to make a little mini one of that with less complicated. And with these two ducklings, which is the cat paws in this one. And these are two different sizes, so tell me which size you like down. Tell me which size you like, size 1 or size 2, and comment down below. Um, and then I have two bows, so I have this really long bow because I was getting rid of splatter paint, which I regret because I want to make a wallet out of splatter paint, but I'm not going to go buy the duct tape, so, you know, if you would just focus. Okay, so there's that, and this one, and I really like this one. And then now for the wallets, so I have this wallet, and it's Argyle, and now I'm currently out of this tape, which, yes, and this is my color combo because... No one ever uses this tape, so I believe this is my color combo. This is like an old tape that no one likes, no one uses. They should really discontinue it. And they should make one with a blue print, like blues and um, browns. That would be pretty. Like pastel blues. So, yep, it, it has four short pockets. Yep, they seem to clear tape. The two seem to clear tape, and there's no sticky in the pockets. And I attached it with yellow because I had yellow on my desk when I was using it, and I didn't want to waste a fuchsia. Because I made this wall right after it. So it's Spongebob and I'm currently out of this tape too. Which is like, yes, score. Um, same thing supply this one. Except that one had clear tape on the bottom. This one has duct tape and clear tape. And I currently ran out of it. So I couldn't make the hiddens. Because I made another wallet of Spongebob. But yeah, I still think it looks good. And it has four side pockets. Same as the other one. The two sides are clear taped. Clear taped. Um, this was the wallet that... Most of these tapes ran out of because of this special wallet. So it's Rainbow, um, Cheetah Kiss, the swirly piece, which is actually really ugly. Um, the pink zebra, again, splatter paint and swirly piece, the checkers. This is a paint splatter, and the zebra, and the Cheetah Kiss, and SpongeBob I used on the back and front. That's why I was out of it, because like, I had a ton left. And then in the hiddens, I used SpongeBob all the way down. And then on the back of the headings, I used this tape, last of the JFL tape, and then nothing is going tape except for right here, because I accidentally slipped the ID, but like, there's no, they're sticky on the bottom of the pockets, because I was just trying to get rid of tapes, I don't think it will sell, if it does, it'll be like two bucks. But there's that, that, and then the back of it's the same color as the card pocket, I believe, oh, except for that one. Um, and then you can see the trims and stuff. And, yep. Um, and then there's like a divider bill fold that I decided to do. Because I thought it would be cool. And waste more tape. Or I mean get rid of more tape. And then I have this. Teal Blooms one. Which these are my new measurements now. It's 8 and a, a fourth or 8 and a half. Depends on what I feel like. By 3 and a half. Well the outside is 3 and a half. But the inside is 3 and 3 eighths. Because I really like that. Um, billfolds, um, clear tape, and the outside's clear taped, and I really, really like this one. So, um, the trimming is not the best, but it's still really nice, and it doesn't really matter if it's a little bit off, because you're going to have cards in it anyways. 
I still think it looks really pretty and all the trims are clear tape and all the sides and the trims are clear tape really nicely and um, there's pocket and an ID and the only thing I don't like about this is it's slanted and there's two hiddens and I did cover the sticky in all the sides of this hidden because I'm planning on putting um, a removable coin pouch in this and yeah so all the sides are clear taped like right there and I really really like it the only thing else I don't like about it oh I did cover the sticky I thought I didn't cover the sticky yeah, I covered the sticky. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe that's another one. And then I have this one, which is the Sky Downs Mini Accordion. And I know, I haven't made mini accordions in a while because I have too many and I didn't really want to do it until I saw this color combo on Instagram, which I love. So it's Sky Dogs, and you see on the outside it's glue taped. And this has to be one of my favorite, favorite color combos of all time. And I actually gave the rest of the roll to my sister because it was pretty much full. I think I've only made one wallet out of this tape before. And you can make about five or six, I believe. Depends on how much tape you use up. But anyways, the seam is clear taped, and the seam is in here is clear taped. And there's no sticky all right expandables. And the really strong coin pouch, but there's no sticky on the sides. And or like right there. And it's with bubble gum pink. And I made it three and three fourths because I don't know if this would sell. This tape is kind of different too. I don't know if I like it. Some of these tapes, like, they're really old. I don't know why I even bought it. And sorry for my nails, too. Don't mind that. Yeah. I'm going to paint them today. So there's that. And the last thing is this Sky Dogs bifold. And I've always wanted to make one of these bifolds, too. And, again, my new measurements, which I've already told you about. Except it's eight and a fourth. Just the same with the other one. So the seam's clear taped. The seam's clear taped in here. And it's all one pattern. I've never had it one pattern before. I've had it once with the pattern as the pocket and one solid color. So that means like one solid color and the pattern, not two solid colors and a pattern. Like this one is two solid colors and a pattern that's pastel yellow and fuchsia. Like if that makes sense. And I don't know, I just really like this. Other than right here. If you see, it's uneven compared to the hidden, like where the ID slot goes in. But yeah, so it has... Four pockets, a short pocket, and a pocket up top, and an ID with this plastic, and two headings. The only thing I don't like about this, other than that, is that I forgot to cover the sticky. Yeah, I know, I did. But that's okay. The seams are facing down, so your card will not get stuck. Like, I feel like it's still a really, really nice wallet. And again, I was going to sell, I, this one will be $4, um, and then this one will be $4 also. This will be six, this one will be six, this one will be three, this, these two will be five. And then these two will be three dollars, and these two will be one dollar. So yeah, so all the trims is clear taped, all the sides are clear taped. Again, like my normal bifold, so, and then there's no stick in the ID, because I did remember that. So that's basically like what my bifolds consist of. Basically, all the seams are clear taped, and I did use Sky Dogs for this. The only part I did not use Sky Dogs for was the back of the pockets and headings, because I didn't want to make it super thick. So yeah, so that's my craft update. Hopefully you guys like it. I had a fair amount of crafts, and I have been crafting more lately. So thank you guys so much for watching, and bye.